Hello everyone, welcome to Pulse Talk. As you know, through Pulse Talk, we keep talking to different personalities from different areas of life. And today we're going to dig into the area of sports. And this episode goes out to all the rugby fans out there. Now talking about rugby, the guest special, Rodney Soyalo. Now talking about him, he is a New Zealand rugby union player who recently played in Japan at the Honda Fair. And he is currently the director and head coach of rugby team of Trinity College Candy. And talking about him, he is also advocating safety in sports. A very big hello to you, Rodney. How are yeah, you hello. being? Uh, very good, thank you. <laughs> First of all, I would like to ask, how is Sri Lanka treating you? It's been good, apart from COVID. I mean, COVID's a tough situation to go through for everyone. Yes. But, um, but in saying that, Sri Lanka has been, um, it's been a great place for me to be. Wonderful to hear. Now, going back to the topic of, uh, I mean, starting the topic of rugby, yeah. what really sparked your passion in rugby? Well, I, th I think as a young kid, you know, brought up in New Zealand, you, know, you just, um, you naturally congregate to where your friends are going to be and your brothers. So I've got two older brothers that um, played rugby and oh, okay. so I just <laughs> naturally congregated there at the age of 14 mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then history. It's there. the brothers who inspired you to get into rugby? Uh, yeah, it, it was. It was definitely my two older brothers and um, and their friends that influenced you to go in that direction. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So let's talk a bit about your school days as well. Okay, so uh, obviously when when I was younger, I, I played soccer, mm -hmm. or some people call it football. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to rugby league at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. And then from uh, 13, I changed to rugby union at the age of 14. So I played it, started playing rugby at 14. Mm -hmm. So are you somebody who managed academics and sports? You balanced or you were totally into sports person? No, I, I would say I wasn't too bad in the, <laughs> the education side, but um, uh, definitely uh, favoured more on the rugby side. Rugby side. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not completely um, silly. Okay, so I'm sure the school day has def definitely laid a foundation for your rugby journey. Why don't we talk a little bit about your yeah. professional journey in rugby? Yeah, well, obviously, um, we I had a, a reasonably yeah, short period at school of playing rugby. Okay. And so I played... Um, uh, I started playing at the age of 14 uh, at uh, position fullback, mm -hmm. um, so it's in the back line, and and then slowly made my way to um, to number six mm -hmm. or, or six, seven, and eight okay. at the age of 17. So three years of uh, playing at fullback, okay. shifted to um, I shifted into the forwards, and then became a uh, professional rugby player after that. Okay. So, uh, continuing the journey, you know, what, what, how is the journey so far? What made you come? What are the milestones you passed? Yeah, the journey's been um, amazing. Um, it's, it's had its highs and it's had its lows. Mm -hmm. So, um, so in, in those uh, times of learnings, which I, 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 I call learnings, where you have your minor setbacks and maybe injury or um, you didn't make a team or, you know, these little mm -hmm. things here, you create, um, you create a bit of, um, well, what, what do you say, about toughness about someone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so either they face adversity or they, you know, they crumble and they go backwards. So for me, I started to create, um, uh, I created a business um, and, it, and so my little company, which is Momentum, and, okay. it, and it refers to uh, the, the two ways of momentum works where mm -hmm. you either hit adversity, you go backwards or you can go forward, you know, and you can learn from these things. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I created a, a little company called Momentum 1028, mm -hmm. which 1028 is my all black number, okay. um, which I am very fortunate to be, uh, you know, in a club that's quite exclusive. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, so for me, that little journey kind of um, led me to a coaching path mm -hmm. um, um, after my professional uh, playing career mm -hmm. and now um, director of rugby at Trinity College, mm -hmm. um, where I've been uh, working with, uh, with the Trinity College team um, in, in Candy, and yeah. that's been an amazing journey in there. Yeah. Um, and then also the other side of it, which is the business side. Um, where we were working on the safety aspects of um, sports mm -hmm. and um, that apparel. So we've been working quite hard the last couple of years. Okay. So Let's the last couple of years yeah. with, um, 
obviously done a lot of work and um, so um, so it has been uh, a bit of stuff you might be interested in. Um, so it kind of shows you the journey that we're going through um, and then the little so we might give you a little so bit. So this is your business journey, right? Your brand momentum. Yeah. So my momentum, uh, yeah. ten twenty eight, is a uh, is uh, we're just trying to wait, uh, raise awareness around the safety aspects of sport, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we're also um, looking at um, the psychological um, um, ways that what people face uh, during their, uh, yeah. uh, their their journey of life. So, I, I would like to interrupt you a little bit there. Now, yeah. um, you go as an advocate for safety in sports. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about this and what really inspired you to come into this area and what are you really, um, you know, what are the actions that have been taken? So, this area is very, um, it's, it's quite a personal one for me, the, um, the safety aspects of, of sport because um, um, I, I think it's definitely an, um, one that's missing a bit. Mm -hmm. and, um, especially from my personal journey of, of playing the sport and then um, witnessing my you know, my own players go mm -hmm. through this. So I'm, I'm trying to raise awareness around the coaching aspects of, uh, aspects of this mm -hmm. uh, safety of, of going into contact and, okay. and, and rugby contact. But there's also the, um, the other side is the equipment side. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at um, the mouth guard area, which, uh, which we are heavily investing in. Okay. So which, um, which the mouth guard, we, so some of the complaints that I've had when I, when mm -hmm. I was playing was the comfort side of it. Mm -hmm. So it's uncomfortable. And then, um, and then the other one, it's, it's hard to breathe. Um, so we, we are working very hard and trying to, um, trying to change this mm -hmm. um, and then make it more comfortable for everyone to wear mm -hmm. um, and, in, at, at, and especially with the safety side of it. So that, this is one um, part of it and then the other one is the headgear. Okay. So we are very, we are looking heavily into the headgear and, uh, and the equipments around um, trying to make it more comfortable and a lot safer. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I mean, these are areas people actually have to consider when going into a sport like rugby. Safety yep. is definitely key. As, as much as other sports areas are yes, important. Yes. Now, um, going back to your journey, as you're a well-known well rugby player, let's talk a little bit about the highlights and the awards and mm. achievements that you have um, gained during mm. the journey. Yeah, well, obviously my journey, um, my journey as an All Black, it, it was, like you can't say it was destined because I was born in a, in a small island in Samoa, mm -hmm. just in the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, my, fam my parents and, uh, and seven children you know, just decided to go to, uh, to, to New Zealand for a better opportunity. Okay. So when I was in the age of about five, five or six, um, we shifted to New Zealand for a better opportunity and then um, sort of uh, uh, made my way from there. Um, you know, learning the, the work ethic which uh, my, my parents had, you know, mm -hmm. when they continue having right now. Mm -hmm. And it sort of led me to that, um, to the, well, um, you know, to that path of, of working hard and, and achieving what you, mm -hmm. you know, what you want to achieve. So um, when we talk about achievements, the All Blacks is a, is a massive mm -hmm. uh, achievement in itself, um, especially from a little Pacific Island boy to be mm -hmm. able to, um, to be able to push boundaries, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to challenge, um, to get into an exclusive club yep. uh, that the All Blacks are. Mm -hmm. And talking about that challenge, I would like you to talk a little more about the challenges. I'm sure the journey has mustn't have been really easy. Yeah, it must yeah. have been a very a journey of ups and a lot of ups and downs. Let's talk a little bit about the challenges you had to face and ways that you actually overcame them. So one of the um, one of the challenges that we we all face now, and then um, and then having having my role here as uh, the director of rugby for Trinity College, mm -hmm. we are often faced with um, criticism. We are often faced uh, as children, as players, mm -hmm. we are criticised by um, uh, by uh, your opponents and your opponents' supporters, and even your inner circle, which is your um, when uh, is your um, is your own peers. Mm -hmm. So these people are criticizing you and with this with the modern game now and and, and the modern world where technology is very important, mm -hmm. where we are trying to teach these kids um, now that we're we gotta stay grounded or we gotta stay 
uh, true to who we are as people and what we're about. Mm. So uh, we've created a great culture around that area and that's something that um, that you will always face um, in, in any, not just sport, in, in life in general. Yeah. You're going to get criticised as whether you take that criticism um, um, in a negative way or you take it, it in a, a come on, we'll get this momentum going forward and we, we work on there. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Um, now, I would like to ask the question, what made you come to Sri Lanka? <laughs> Sri Lanka? Oh, uh, to be honest, uh, I've got a friend, a friend of mine who was a, a Trinity X player and uh, he obviously coached. Okay. Uh, that's, so that's how it started. Um, but through my coaching side, I've always wanted to be challenged mm -hmm. a, as a coach. Um, so to be able to take um, to be able to take a team that um, hasn't been going that well the last mm -hmm. few years, mm -hmm. and then and then trying to change um, not just results of the the playing results, just trying to change the um, the personnel or mm -hmm. your or your players, you know, because at the end of the day, we want um, we want to create. Um, great great young men and young men and young women yeah definitely. so that's part of my role is to you know that that i've really loved coming over here to try to challenge myself because i do want to get better every day uh -huh. and then the other um and then it just happens that we um the other side of it has been growing the the business side of it so yeah so it's been a good good journey here okay um again now coming to talk about the trinity college now in sri lanka when you say rugby i think the trinity college comes into everyone's mind yeah. now you being the director and head coach of rugby there um what are some of the areas that you have looked into in the team and what's their role in this game well they have a uh, trinity college has a big role in, in rugby um, in sri lanka i believe and so, so does royal so does um yeah, sure, Batana, sure. So they they, all, are. <laughs> all these colleges have a big role in rugby itself. Yeah. Um, and one of the uh, one of the things that we were highlighting with the uh, with Trinity College is is building great young men. Mm -hmm. You know, we've mentioned it before. Um, where they, these uh, these young men are not just um, uh, not just rugby players. They they're going to be future presidents. They're going to be you know. Sure, sure. Uh, there's a lot of staff leaders. Yeah. So we're trying to grow leadership around. Um, uh, you know, around not, not only their own peers, mm -hmm. but their community. Mm -hmm. So that's where some of the work that we've been doing are around um, candy and, um, you know, just helping out the community and what, what that looks like for us, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. It's not what we say and what we put on the social media. That's right. uh, it's what we, mm -hmm. uh, we, we do it by action. We, you know, we see people go out there and we, we start to promote what, um, you know, what, what leadership really is about. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, to bring the program into closure, I would like to ask you, what are your future plans for rugby, for Sri Lankan rugby, anything that goes on? Yeah, well, I, I would really love to um, promote the, um, the safety aspects of, of rugby here. Uh, there's still a lot of challenges that I would like to achieve in Sri mm. Lanka. and I, you know, and I believe that we could, um, the Sri Lankan can actually really grow their 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 rugby and their, and develop it, especially mm. because they were passionate people about rugby. Um, so just getting the right um, the right information and making sure that the competition is strong, mm -hmm. but make sure that the safety aspects of it it's um, is, is is down um, down packed, and in and that's where we come in with um with our, our little business and, and say so that we can provide uh, the safety aspects of this and then mm -hmm. the, um, the learnings around it mm -hmm. and then uh, some of the um, products that we have in our merchandise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. And along with that, we have actually come to the end of today's Pulse Talk. Thank you so much for joining with us. I'm sure um, just like Trinity is proud to have you, I think as Sri Lanka as a country, we're also happy to have you in the country for some to drive something good and to drive Thank safety you. in a sports aspect. Thank you so much, Rodin, for joining Thank with you. us. And to everyone who's watching us right now, today we were in conversation with a very famous rugby player and currently the director and the head coach of rugby at Trinity College, Candy Rodney Soyalo. Thank you so much for joining with us. We hope to see you soon with another episode of Pulse Talk.